Back in my younger day, when I considered myself to be a writer, I wrote a story called Piles, about guys and their piles. And a lot of people, you know, don't realize it, but piles of stuff is very important to some folk. You take 63 Impala, he makes all kind of really cool, interesting stuff out of piles of crap. You know, old metal, iron, things that other people would haul off to the dump. He manages to pick it up and see something in it and make something good out of it. I got a little bit of that in me. I'm not as good as him, but uh, I make a few things. What happens to my piles here in May is they get, I either got to keep them in my garage, which takes such space, or they get stuff in them somewhere like this. See, I had put all my stuff in buckets. Then I brought all my buckets out here, and then all the leaves fell off the maple tree and filled the buckets with leaves, and then it froze. So the buckets are full of frozen ice and leaves and there's some good stuff in there. <clears throat> what I'm doing right now, before I do anything else, because it could turn around and freeze back up by tomorrow, and this stuff would be all stuck in there till spring, is I'm pulling this stuff out, I'm pouring it out here, I'm sorting out the metal, I'm putting it back in there without the leaves and without the water. Then I'm bringing them over here and I'm just sliding them up in underneath here. That way, in the middle of the winter, if I decide I want to work on a project, I can come out here and I can pull my buckets out and look through them find pieces of metal I need and they won't be lost and buried under the ice and stuff. So I got quite a lot of metal in here. There's a, I'm gonna, after I pull out, I can see four or five more buckets in there. And then uh, all up in here and all up under here, there's all kind of stuff. And I'm gonna pull this old board thingy I'm standing on up and get it out of the way so I can get all my metal in here. Once I do that, then I can see what else I got room for. I actually built this shed for, this is the biggest reason I was thinking about is for all this stuff, to give it a, an outside place to keep metal. Mike was telling me the other day he had a bunch of metal he was wanting to get rid of from his place. and He was wondering if I had a place to put it. So, yeah, I'm making a place to put stuff like that. With that said, uh, I'll turn over a few more of these buckets and clean them out. Like this one here. I'm going to pour that out. Oh, there's some good things in there. Look at those exhaust pipe flanges. But they'd all be buried and gone if I didn't get them dug out. So. We'll keep working on that. Okay, let's take a look at what we got over here. That's a nice, good looking piece of steel that Mark gave me. In fact, all these heavy pieces of metal here came from my neighbor, whose trailer I've been working on. And uh, there's some good metal in that, some good usable metal. So I'm, I'm going to take it and I'm going to shove it right up on that high spot up there underneath Trish's bicycle. And uh, then we're going to make some more room for more metal. That's kind of what we're doing here. Okay, I just ran across a good example of why I'm doing this. A while back I was putting a trailer tongue underneath that little uh, storage shed out back so I could pick it up and move it. And I was looking for a piece of metal and I couldn't find it. Well, I just found it laying right there, buried in the leaves. And that's a good example of why I need to get this stuff in and out of there and inside and under something. It's not going to be easy to figure out how to put things in here where they're not just eating all my space. And I was kind of already aware of that. A lot of people have suggested, hey, you could put the Volkswagen in here, and hey, you could put the Jeep in here, and yeah, all that's true. But I still have the problem I started with, was where am I going to put all this junk? And it is junk, except that it's good junk. That axle right there, that's worth something. That other axle out there is worth something. All this stuff is worth something. All this stuff is good if you know what it is and how to use it and where to store it and how to get to it when you need it. So, oh, that's the challenge we're facing today.